Hey everybody, I want to take the next couple minutes to show you my kegerator, which I've been building over the past week or two. Integrated with my kegerator is the KegBot system, which is a free and open source project you can find online at kegbot.org. And this adds some intelligence to your kegerator and allows you to track drinks, users, and how much beer is left in your kegs uh, and various other statistics, which I'll show you a bit later. Uh, as far as parts go, I've got a 5 cubic foot freezer which I got from Lowe's for a pretty good deal. I built a wood collar in between the lid and the freezer so I could mount taps and various electronics. All my kegging equipment came from Keg Connection which I highly recommend. And inside we've got two 5 gallon kegs, um, 5 pound CO2 tank, a regulator, down at the bottom are the flow sensors, so when the beer runs through the lines, it goes through these flow sensors, which sends some electrical pulses back through, um, and inside this project box is an Arduino, which is connected to my laptop, which has uh, running some of the KegBot software, which has the database, collects all the information, and also a web interface, which I'll show you a bit later. And to actually... Uh, for, for my setup, I've, I've used just a simple LCD on the front, which shows <clears throat> what's currently on tap, and it has a push button here on the right, which allows you to switch user. So if you wanted to pour a beer, you would switch to your username, pour a beer, and it would send that information over to the Arduino. The Arduino would send that information on to the laptop, and then the website would update it. You do quite a bit more with the KegBot system including uh, attaching solenoid valves in line with your beer line so you can lock and unlock taps uh, based on some authentication scheme a lot of people are using RFID which I didn't want to mess with quite yet um, but there, there's quite a bit more you can do with KegBot so and again it's a free open source project which I highly recommend uh, kegbot.org so now I'm going to show you the web interface uh, and I'm gonna move over to the computer. This is the KegBot project website. A big thanks to the creator of KegBot for making all the code free and open source. If you want any more information on KegBot, just go to kegbot.org and there's documentation, discussion forum, wiki, and all that is available through Mercurial. For the web interface, which is what most of the end users are interested in, this is the basic layout for uh, the KegBot web interface. And I've changed it slightly for color and some small touches, but overall it's pretty much the same as the default kegbot setup. And on the left it shows what's on tap. So for my keg writer, I have two things on tap. On the left I've got homebrewed IPA, and, and on the right I've got a homebrewed uh, hoppy amber ale. And on the right side of the page you've got the recent events, which shows the users, how much they've had to drink, out of which kegs. Uh, and again, over here, you've got a bar graph shows how many pints remain out of each keg. So if I do a quick pour out of the right tap, um, we should hopefully see it pop up on the right, which uh, how much I've had and which, which tap I drank from. And then I'll show you guys uh, also a lot of the statistics tracking that it does, uh, how much each person has had. So here, here it pops up um, how much I poured. I didn't pour very much. I was just doing a little test. And <clears throat> it keeps track of the past few recent events. So if you click on a username, you can see I haven't had, I haven't tested this much, so there's not too much going on. But, you know, stats, total pints by day of the week, which this will get really filled in as, as the weeks go on. Um, it shows you how much you've had to drink, and you can also click on individual kegs and get information about who's had uh, how much of each keg, and it shows you top drinkers, and you've got all-time stats, how many pints each person has had, and that's pretty much it. So thanks again for the KegBot project.